we had hoped to use the Hamburg technique for protecting property from erosion at Cape Harris Lighthouse. Uh, Cape Harris Lighthouse, the Statue of Liberty, and the Golden Gate Bridge were the three uh, American properties that were right on the coast that were known throughout the world. This was a scene along with those others that were known throughout the world. Well now, uh, Cape Harris Lighthouse is back in the bushes a half mile away uh, by a cell tower and it's not the inspirational scene that you see in this particular picture. Uh, it would have been wonderful if we could have protected uh, Cape Harris Lighthouse at its historic location. Mr. Homburg said that he could have done that uh, and in this picture you see the bottom red line in the picture. You, this was where the local people thought it would be good to put a, a, an additional jetty or groin. Mr. Homburg didn't particularly care for that but he said if they're determined to do it uh, put the groin in but if I can put my uh, stabilizers in in the configuration of the upper red lines uh, in two years time the shoreline will be the yellow line and uh, even if he didn't do the whole thing if he just did half of it it would have protected uh, Cape Harris Lighthouse in its historic location and that was what we wanted to do and Mr. Homburg said he could have done that for two million dollars as opposed to the twelve million dollars that it cost to move the lighthouse a half mile away. A lot of our leaders in North Carolina have seen these slides and they like the idea of trying it. They think it's worthwhile because uh, what's being done now is not good enough and we at least ought to see how Hamburg's technique works on the North Carolina or South Carolina coast. Uh, in the upper left, Beverly Perdue, the uh, Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, the next one uh, to the right is Bill Friday, the former President of the University of North Carolina System, Walter Davis who had been a developer down at Bald Head Island and a property owner up at Nags Head, Phil Kirk, head of the North Carolina Citizens for Business and Industry, uh, Jim Broyhill, a former U.S. Senator. In the second row, left to right, Edwin Jones, one of the big builders of North Carolina, head of J.A. Jones Construction Company. He built the Moorhead Planetarium, the State Legislature Building, a tunnel under Norfolk Harbor, and other projects all over the world. The lady there is Carol Lohr, who is head of the Tourist Convention Bureau at Moorhead City. Uh, next is Harlan Boyles, the late, very respected treasurer of North Carolina, and uh, former Governor Jim Hunt, who was governor several times, uh, Senator Fountain Odom from Charlotte. Um, in the bottom row uh, on the left is Bruce Cameron, the developer of Figure 8 Beach. In the middle there is uh, Jim Lutze, the Chancellor at UNC Wilmington. And on the right in the bottom row is Hugh McCall, who was the <coughs> president of uh, North Carolina National Bank, which became Bank of America and one of the biggest banks in the whole country. All of those folks thought that Hamburg's uh, system of erosion control should be tried on the coast of the two Carolinas. Two former governors of South Carolina have seen these slides. Uh, uh, both of them think that this should be tried uh, particularly in South Carolina where literally billions of dollars of value is being threatened. On the left is Bob McNair, former governor. On the right is uh, Jim Hodges, the former governor of South Carolina. So we are hoping, and I'm strongly recommending that we try Mr. Homburg's uh, system of erosion control somewhere on the coast of the two Carolinas.